Good morning, everyone. This is Linda. I hope you're having a beautiful Monday morning. It's Monday morning. But guys, listen, I've been having a beautiful morning. I've been out in the garden this, this morning already. It's early. <laughs> it's very early in the morning. And um, it's, a, it's a beautiful day. I feel it. it, it it's going to get all better from here. Just much better. <laughs> yeah, but listen, guys. I first I want to thank you all who stopped by the live last night. I had a great time. It was wonderful, as always. Always is good. We have a great time together. But um, last night we got into growing garlic, and for some reason or another, root knot nematodes came up. We're going to talk about it today. Yes. <laughs> but first, if you are not subscribed to the channel, hit the subscribe button. I will be sharing my Zone 9 garden. Yay! 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 <laughs> It's early, yo. <laughs> so, a couple of, year of years ago, I did have root knot nematodes in one of my containers, right? So I begin to read about nematodes, just, you know, try to find out how to get rid of these things from my garden. So I'm going to scoot over a little bit. All right. So here I'm going to be putting up pictures of nematodes. Also, just pictures of when you inspect the roots of your plants, how root knot nematodes look. I'm going to be sharing those pictures right there. All right. So, uh, root knot nematodes are a menace. <laughs> they are a menace to anyone's garden. And there is over 100 species of root knot nematodes. Yeah. Yeah. They are bad. Now, listen, there are also good nematodes. Yes, there are some good nematodes out there where uh, you will see some gardeners adding these good nematodes to their garden. Yes. But these, the root knot, they are bad. <sighs> yeah. They are very bad. So this is what they look like. Yeah, it, 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 it's um, it's a parasite. It's a like a parasitic worm in your vegetables. Yep, that's that's exactly what they are. All right. So, what are the symptoms of a plant when? They have been attacked by root knot nematodes. A plant could be doing marvelous and looking beautiful and gorgeous and producing very well. And just like that, the plant began to die. So, of course, you know, you check, you check things like, um, did I give it enough water? Did I give it too much water? Does it need uh, fertilizer? So all of these things, you kind of go through your checklists to figure out what, what's going on with this plant. So, but the only way to really know, the only way to know if this plant is affected is by pulling her up from the roots and look at her roots because her roots will tell the story. All right? 
And that's when you will see things that looks like that. Yes. And this is why your plants just die. Now, there is some things to get rid of root knot nematodes. I haven't found them, but this is what some things is suggested um, in my research. And I'll share with you some of the things I've tried, okay? So after I planted this little tomato plant, she was doing great, she was producing. The next thing you know, she died. I pulled her up and there they were. And I mean, they were vicious little things. They were terrible looking. Like that. So of course I took her and everything that go with her I didn't want none of her fruits. I didn't want nothing to do with this girl. <laughs> and I put her in a plastic bag and I threw her away, right? So what I tried to do is to just experiment, right? So the first thing I did and what the internet suggested, two things. Marigolds mm -hmm, and brassicas right i planted marigolds i planted red giant mustard greens and i planted a marigold plant in that round uh, rim container i'm sorry the rim container that i shared with you that jada when she was three she had a first herb garden in that one and that's where the root not nematodes was so um so I planted these mustard greens and, and marigolds, and they did beautifully. The greens grew up really big. Now, I'm going to try to go back and find that old video, and if I do, I'm going to put it, I'm going to link it in the description box. Okay. <laughs> All right. So I planted mustard greens, and they did great. They did great. So... As the greens got big, I pulled pulled them up from the roots just to check her roots. They were fine, smooth, beautiful roots, no knots, nothing. Marigold, she was the same, right? I'm like, oh, this is cool, you know. I didn't, you know, this is the way I got rid of these nematodes. The following spring. I planted another tomato plant in that rim. <laughs> right, the root knot nematodes killed that tomato plant. So there are some plants that this species of nematodes that I had in my garden did not touch the brassicas and they did not touch the marigolds, right? That didn't mean they were gone because they were not gone at all. They were still there. So my thing, what I did, I got another plastic bag and I turned that rim upside down and got all of that soil off my property, period. And I cleaned that container out with bleach and let her set for about six months before I planted anything in it. But the, 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 the root knot nematodes did not have anything really to do with the container, really. She didn't, they didn't care about the container or what they were in. Root knot nematodes lives in the soil. And see, that's another reason, if you think about this thing, if when you go to these big box stores and you buy these sick little plants, and, you know, a lot of us buy sick plants and they got them for a dollar and two dollars and fifty cents, these little sick plants, and they look really, really sick. And we come home and we incorporate them into our garden, not knowing uh, nothing about them. And this is why I have, I have in my garden, I have a, a, a award, you know, for, um, for, for new plants. I, I put them in a different part of the garden for at least seven to 10 days, just so I can see, you know, how they going to perform. And 
I want to make sure that they don't have any kind of parasites on them and that will infect the entire garden because they can. They can infect your entire garden. Just one little 50 cents plant, all right? So another thing they said that will get rid of root knot nematodes is solar energy. So what you do is you take some plastic and you put over the bed or whatever is infected and solarize it, right? But with the sun and the sun will kill this. So they said to till your soil every 10 days and let the sun kill the parasites by drying them up, right? So another thing, they had some kind of uh, fish crustacean shells like crab shells or oyster shells or something like that uh, that you could put on a bed and till it in and this would get rid of those nematodes. I've never had to do that. I've never tried the... Uh, I did try the solar method, but it just didn't make sense to me simply because I was working with a container, not a raised bed. Uh, and the easiest fix for me was to take the soil from the, the container and throw it away because the nematodes live in the soil, right? So this is what root knot nematodes are and yes they are um, they are parasites and they will destroy and I say destroy your garden within a blink of an eye all right so uh, this is the thing that came up last night so listen I want you to do your research about these nematodes okay do your research and um, every year, every year, uh, they're finding different ways to combat nematodes, the bad nematodes, the bad ones, right? So, but anyway, guys, you all have a great day. I thank you all for being here. I hope this helped you in some way. All right, guys. Later, y'all.